Hi, I'm Amy from eSpares, and in this video I'll be sharing with you some handy tips to help keep your washing machine more energy efficient and save you money on your energy bills too. We have a whole range of videos to keep your appliances more energy efficient, so we'll link the playlist down below in the description and at the end of this video too. You can also subscribe to our channel to stay in the know. So let's talk washing machines. Doing the laundry is no one's favourite activity, especially when it costs you more than it should in electricity bills. Since most of us do more than a few loads of laundry per week, here are the steps that are worth taking to reduce your energy use. First, before you start doing your laundry, try and make sure that you have a full load. So your washing machine will use the same amount of energy heating up the water and turning the drum with a full load as it will with just a couple of t-shirts. But a full load doesn't mean cramming the drum full as as many clothes as possible. You should try and aim to fill it about three quarters full so that the clothes have plenty of room to move and make sure that you separate all the items and detangle them before you put them in. Our next tip is for washing cycles. When choosing your wash cycle, always go for the most eco-friendly option that suits your needs. The quick wash cycle is also great for saving energy on smaller, lightly soiled loads as it uses less water and has a shorter spin cycle. Just be aware that it won't always give the best results on larger loads or more heavily soiled clothing. Most washing machines have an inbuilt eco wash setting, which will also save energy compared to the regular wash settings. You'll need to pre-plan your washes when using this though, as eco washes usually take longer than regular washes. This is so that the clothes are washed for longer to compensate for the fact that the water is heated at a lower temperature. An extra bonus of using the quick cycle and the eco wash is that it's much kinder on your clothes as they're either spending less time in the machine or they're being washed at much lower temperatures. Just make sure if you are regularly using a cold wash that once a month you do run a hot wash as this will get rid of the bacteria in your machine and reduce odours. You can join this with your maintenance wash which we'll talk about later in the video. The heavier items or those that are stained or soiled, make sure that you soak them first as this will help remove stubborn stains and will also reduce the need for you to wash them twice which uses double the water and the energy. To reduce drying time for heavier items, make sure you use a fast spin cycle as this means that you'll remove them almost dry and it will reduce the need for you to tumble dry them. A big energy saving tip in general is to try and avoid using your tumble dryer as much as possible. Use a clothes rack or hang them outside as much as you can. A good tip for when you are buying heavier items such as bath towels is to opt for a more lightweight material as this will save you washing and drying time which will therefore save energy and save you money. If during your washing cycle you notice that your machine is shaking more or is making more noise than usual, this could be due to an uneven load. Now uneven loads are bad for the effectiveness of the wash and can also put unnecessary wear and tear on the internal parts of your machine. So take a look at our other video up here on how to prevent this. If you do need to buy a new washing machine, make sure you opt for a model with an efficiency A++ energy rating. But here at eSpares, we believe that you should only ever buy a new machine as an absolute last resort. Hands down, the most efficient way to save money and energy if your machine does develop a fault is to repair it, not to replace it. This means that you won't have to fork out on a new machine and less washing machines will be produced, which is much better for the environment. Avoid using too much detergent in your washing machine as it's bad for a number of different reasons. Firstly, too much detergent is a pollutant, so it affects the environment. But not only that, but it won't actually make your clothes any cleaner. In fact, it could do the opposite, as too much detergent may not dissolve properly, so it could leave residue on your clothes. Not only that, but the more detergent you use, the more you'll be buying, so it's not really efficient money-wise either. Too much detergent can also affect the internal parts of your washing machine, as it can foam up, causing an overfilling error code, which will appear here, meaning that you'll have to reset your machine and restart the cycle. Now I'm going to tell you some important maintenance tips for your washing machine. As well as the previous tips, cleaning and maintaining your washing machine properly will also save energy and prolong the life of your appliance. First of all, we need to give the internal part of your washing machine a good clean to remove lime scale and undissolved detergent buildup by running a monthly maintenance wash. Choose a hot cycle over 60 degrees and make sure that the load's empty and that you use a specialist cleaner and descaler. Our washing machine cleaner is the most popular product on our whole site and comes highly recommended by our customers, so we will link it down below for you if you want to check it out. Another monthly job is to make sure that you clean the washing machine filter if possible. A clogged filter will mean that your washing machine will have to work harder and will therefore use more energy. 
On most front loading washing machines, the filter can be found on the front of the machine and is usually at the bottom behind a flap. To help prevent your filter from getting blocked and to keep your machine working more efficiently, make sure that you check clothes before you put them in. Check pockets for smaller items such as coins as these can clog the drain pump or the filter damaging your machine. Washing machines really do eat socks sometimes, so make sure that when you're washing smaller items or delicate items, such as pants or socks, that you put them in a pillowcase or in a mesh laundry bag to stop them from getting stuck in the drum or the filter. This will also stop your socks from going missing too. If you do find any unwanted items stuck in the drum, make sure that you check out our video up here on how to remove them. We hope these simple tips will help you keep your washing machine more energy efficient and you should start to notice a difference on your next build too. We have a whole playlist on energy saving videos for all the machines around your home, which we'll link down below. Subscribe to our channel for step-by-step -step guides on diagnosing problems and maintaining your appliances. Thanks for watching.